Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another Pastor's Ponderings. Today, talking about hands, right? Our hands tell a lot about us. Uh, I actually had a conversation with Jason the other day. Um, our bowling season had come to an end, and uh, and we were just kind of talking about what the summer holds for us. And um, one of the things that he had mentioned was it was important for him to continue bowling through the summer. Why? so that he could maintain his calluses. His hands show that he's a bowler. His hands show that he's a carpenter, that he works with wood. His hands show that he's a builder, right? Uh, your hand can show that you're married, right? Or you're single or uh, where you're at in life. A hand can show other things, right? I've got a ring from my ordination. I got a ring to remind myself of my responsibilities as a pastor, a weighty task to say the least. But our hands remind us of a lot of things, right? Do you work with your hands? Do you have those calluses? A farmer's hands are very different from one who works in an office. Not that that makes it one greater than the other, but that both individuals carry very different lifestyles. What a joy it is that our hands do resemble who we are. It, it, I always think about this this time of year. Because after Easter, Jesus comes to his disciples and every single time that they come to him, they're terrified. Right? And I would be too. Right? They imagine that they're seeing a ghost or, or they have so many questions when they see his face. And it terrifies them. After all, they thought that he was long dead. They thought that it was over and that everything that they had been working toward was done. This is a people really without hope. What hope can there be when your Messiah is killed? And yet Jesus comes to them and the first thing that he does every time is he shows them his hands. Look at my hands. Look at my feet. See the scars. See the place where the nails were. No, it is I. This brings great comfort. And honestly, it should bring great comfort to us. Our hands tell a lot about who we are. And Jesus' hands remind us that he is the Messiah. So even when we're in despair and even when things seem hopeless, we can be reminded that the nails that pierced Jesus' hands were the same nails that held him to the cross, the same nails that paid the price for our sin, and the same nail marks that point out that he is the Messiah, the one who has risen from the dead, and that all of his works, all of his doings, let us walk free. Give us hope and comfort in the midst of all sorts of situations. Your hands tell a lot about you. And Lord Jesus, we thank you that your hands tell of our plan for salvation. Praise God. And happy Easter, everyone, as this Easter season continues. Um, and actually, it's coming to a close here soon. Continue to celebrate the resurrection of our Lord and live as his resurrected people. Go in his peace, everyone. Take care.